Hello, and welcome back to Nightly Nerds. I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we're playing... Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger! Oh, yeah. Holy crap, you just got loud. Yeah. <laughs> you can turn me down a little bit now. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. So we, we were just in the settings, and I sounded louder, which is not a normal thing. Um, but Wow, that, that made my ear ring. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so we're back after beating uh, the, the Zayla, something like that. I understand. Who's female, by the way? Yes. And uses like psychotic, psychotic, psychic uh, powers to control other things. Yeah, psychokinetic. Yes. Azala. Yeah, Azala. And Soon. It's Zara in Japan. <laughs> it really is. I, I know. I know. I know. I looked it up too. Soon stones of fire will rain down. Flames shall scorch the land. The burnt out plains will slowly freeze, ushering in a long cruel ice age. Mwahaha, what a treat. You will wish you went along with us. Mwahaha. What? Lavos. <gasps> ah. Lavos more plot. Lavos came from space. From outer space. <laughs> I love it. Love the classic SNES parallax to mimic 3D. Freaking love it. I was expecting like a big boosh. There it is. Isla's word la means fire, vos means big. Big fire. Or fire big. Do 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 the dactyls. We we read dactyl. All right, dactyl. Okay, I, for my own sanity, I need to. I can't. I can't pause. It's that. It's that crackling. I. I Part of me, majority of me says it's in the game, but being like, yeah. hearing weird, weird sounds is just I'm paranoid. It's it's Lavos coming. Yeah. Me not forget. The future. Future, what about future? We have, we have no future. What a douche. So Lavos is a thermobaric nuclear warhead? Or maybe he's like the villain in um, Fifth Element? Oh, yeah. That like giant planet thing. I still, to want into that, the Earth. I still want that movie to have like a sequel of some sort. It would be awesome. Like, a, like to be honest, they could do like a generational sequel like they did with um, Blade Runner. Ah, like 2049? Yeah. Through no fault of Magus does Lavos, Lavos live. Lavos hath fallen from the sky in ancient times. Because Magus was just trying to summon him. Because Magus wanted to cure. Lavos huge. Chrono fight it. Chrono, we go where Lavos fall. <laughs> I love a little blue dot. I do too. Left unscathed, will it burrow deep within the earth. Best to defeat it now. Major plot points happening. Lair ruins. Tis a gate. Lavos very fast. Deep under earth already. Mayhap Lavos be causing cause of this warp? The one in Maga's castle was immense. <clears throat> What's wrong, Kono? Chrono, fight the Lavos. Go in here. Yes? Ready for epilepsy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Epilepsy so, warning. Okay. So, I received an interesting letter. Okay. A while back. I did message you about it, but it's like part of me wishes I was... Uh, oh, yes. That, that Ginger was, was a, like an actual minority and discriminatory race. Because yeah. the work that Larry used to work at, Bass Pro Shop, <laughs> I got a letter from them about how between the time period that Larry recommended I you know apply apply for 
the management was being very discriminatory against Hispanic people and black people. And they lost a lawsuit, right? Yeah, they lost a class action lawsuit. <laughs> and so I, if if I was a minority, I would have gotten compensation. I'm just like, oh, why can't Ginger be a minority? I really, I wonder if it was not necessarily the Bass Pro here, if it's Bass Pro in general. It could have been. Because there were a lot of Hispanic and black people who worked there. I mean, not as many black as Hispanic, but there were a lot and a ton of like Filipino and Polynesian. <gasps> That's right, we're gonna, we're gonna hear my favorite theme song. It's my favorite theme song. Ooh. Do you remember this song? Mm hmm. It's my favorite. I, I, just, I, I just gotta kinda like sit here and listen to it till the chorus, ki chorus kicks in. I love it how Isla dances when you're not doing anything. <laughs> do do. Do 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 do. It's my favorite. That's why I wanted to say like a while back that like frogs is my second favorite because nothing beats this one. <laughs> the eternal kingdom of zeal where distant dreams come true, but at what price? <clears throat> Whoa. Yep. Let's see if we find the other one. Hi, boy. To the sullen lad. What's wrong, the animal good food? The black wind howls. One among you will shortly perish. Urchin, halt! <laughs> He's so edgy. I knoweth not what this portends. What an unpleasant lad. Strange one, but not bad boy. Isla like bad boys. Ooh. Where is he? What are you looking for? Looking for the... There he is. There's a second one. I'm a butterfly dreaming, I'm a man. Or a bold bowling ball dreaming, I'm a plate. Oh, sashimi. Yeah. Never assume that what you see and feel is real. Every time you go to sleep, you die, and another person replaces you and receives all your memories. Remember that from, uh, from Marshmallow, Marshmallow People? Marshmallow People, yeah. <laughs> I'm Doreen. Seek the path, uh, seek the hidden path, and open the doors of knowledge each in turn. Swing. Is that the, is that the last of her? It looks like it. Oh no, it repeats. Yeah, it does. Okay. So then we leave, and we should be able to go here now. Whoa. This is the Ice Age after Lavos. Yes. We're just gonna turn it down, Tad. Five was perfect. It was at six. Yeah, and that's just too much. All cave. Right. Actually, I believe we gotta go here. The first. cave of wonders. Good jar. <laughs> so, what are we looking at on time wise? Uh, we got a couple minutes. Okay. We can do a thing. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of dialogue until the story gets pushed. That's what how everything works, right? Yeah, but now we're at like major plot points. Major plot points. I'm looking for specific people. You don't want to talk to everybody? No. I know where I'm. I'm actually have a relatively good idea where I'm going, and that refreshes our HP MP. I love this music. <laughs> oh, me too. I'm freaking, freaking losing it. As much as I want to share it with everyone else, we're definitely gonna have to turn it down because this one gets copyrighted so hard. <laughs> Did you happen to uh, Orin? Oh no! He got a copyright strike, right? So he did a commentary for a movie. That's stupid, right? It's alright. It was just like sinking. Your mic was sinking on you. It you was sinking pretty yeah. hard. Anyways, uh, yeah, he did a commentary for a uh, for a movie, like an anime or something. Uh huh. And it was just audio. All there was there was a thumbnail for what the movie was, but there was no there was audio, no audio from it, no video from the actual movie. And he got a copyright strike. 
So he's like, what the heck? You didn't get a warning or anything. You just got a strike. Or did someone just straight up stri put a yeah, strike on him? Yeah, a strike on him. So he looked into it and he, he, uh, he contested it and he lost the... Oh, no. He lost the... the uh, yeah, his appeal. Uh-huh. And it, uh, because he had a link in his description of where you could find the movie. And I guess whatever the link was is like a link that you're not allowed to put in. Uh. But it didn't even give him the option to remove the link. Because he would have removed it. He was like, okay, I would have removed the link. Isn't that garbage? That's total Hot garbage. flaming garbage? That's total garbage. So now he has to, he's going to have a strike for three months. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that, Oren. Holy crap. Yeah. Scala. Oh, you're back, Janice. Is something wrong? Is it Janice or is it Giannis? It's Janice. I, know, I always do that with you. Whenever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the Black Wind. I am Edgelord. You feel it too. Don't worry. It'll be alright. Now, hold on to this. What is this? It's a kind of amulet. If something should happen, it'll protect you. I wish it could be with you always, but Mother has other plans. She's not our mother. She looks like Mother, but inside she has changed. Still, I can't, Janice. I'm sorry. Excuse me, Hydus. I am your handmaiden, and this is my tale. <laughs> the queen asks for your immediate presence in, at the Ocean Palace. All right. Well, Janice, I'll be going. Oh, who might you be? Miss Scala, please, please hurry if you're late. I'll be punished, and I like my punishments. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Your name is not Miss Shala. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm just being I know. me. I know, I, but like the way the way people figured this out was, um, because like you said with uh, Izara. Yeah, you look up the Japanese, and it's not far off, and it's just the translation they did. They did like the, the localization was kind of poor in certain parts of this. Yeah, and so it's just they they basically took like the Japanese name and kind of made it make more sense for. American audiences. I want to be the wind, Masa. Oh. And soon you, and someday you will be. Big sister Doreen at Hasa again. I wonder how old man Melchior is. Humans are so odd. Yeah, that's because she likes dreams. I like the wind better. Whoosh. Whoosh. Like a Masa and a moon. Yeah, that's actually who they are. Yeah, 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 stop your talking. Go away. Thank you. Whoa. This is sort of the mammoth machine. I remember this. Okay, so I believe we go to the main and third, the main hall area up here. Uh huh. Because now we're chasing after her. <gasps> Look familiar? <laughs> it's like it's all connected through time. It's like it's some kind of time trigger. Strange. Strange. How come? It is a mere door that keeps us bound hand, foot, and tongue. Are you to have what's her name with you? No. Um... I believe we just have to charge it using the mammoth machine. Oh, out of the way, dude. Yeah, for those that are ever interested, um, what is it? There's a, if you look it up, there's a guy that does like a, because apparently for Chrono Trigger, there's two timelines. Mm -hmm. There's the original timeline of like how everything would play out prior to Chrono, prior to Chrono. And then there's like, as soon as Chrono interfered and went in the past. Ah. Well, upon opening this door, it's going to end this episode of Nightly Nerds. As always, I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we'll <laughs> catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, did you like that video? Well, if you did, click the box on the right for another. Click the box on the left for a playlist. Of course, you could always just subscribe by clicking the link in the middle. Come find us on social media. There are links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave us a comment. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. See you then. Bye.